Hello all. This is Rahul Magan here is a group chief executive officer of Treasury Consulting and also a venture capitalist. And today we are going to cover a video about a central bank who is the most innovative central bank of the globe. We are not talked, we are talking about none other than Reserve Bank of India. So we today are going to talk about the master circular being produced by Reserve Bank of India, which covers the Although it's a draft master circular, but we very well understand that the Reserve Bank of India draft is almost finalized. In this draft master circular of several pages, we are going to tell you that what are the interpretation issues of the Treasury Consulting Group as far as the master circular is concerned. This video might be a 35 to 40 minutes video, but in this video, you will get to know that how exactly, you know, in this master circular that there are a lot of flaws which there, there are in the master circular. How can you expect a central bank of the central bank of India to have a master circular in the public domain with so many flaws? Now let's have go one by one. The first flaw in the master circular that it is not paged. You can very well see that I'm using the pen page number one, two, three, four like that. How can you issue a master circular in the public domain which do not have the page numbers? Boss, you are the central bank of India and you claiming to be a 10 trillion dollar economy by 2025. God knows whether you would be 10 trillion or 1 trillion dollar economy by 2025. But you are launching a master circular in which there are no pages. So first thing which I have to do is to write down the pages here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, is 7, 8. This, is, this shows where exactly is the strength of Reserve Bank of India, where actually we stand, you know, but yes, don't worry, we, we, we turn out to be the 10, 10 trillion dollar economy from uh, to, uh, by 2025. Now let's start the functional part of it. As you know that I served as a corporate treasurer for 10 years and in this work as a corporate treasurer, I handled almost the group level treasury. Now I will let you know what is the strength of RBI. Now go to the page number 3. You can see that I have quoted page number 3 using my uh, pen. In this page number 3, Reserve Bank of India is saying that there are only four kind of exposures. One is anticipated exposure, contracted, hedging and users. In fact, users is not there. So there are three kind of exposures. Anticipated, contracted and hedging. I would like to check from Reserve Bank of India that India in India we have multiple companies like Wipro, SCL, TCS, Cognizant, Capgemini, Accenture, Sapient, multiple IT and ITS company, Information Technology Enabled Services, ITS. Multiple IT and ITS companies are there. They are hedging their exposure using forecasted exposure. We very well understand that, uh, that uh, IT contracts are not for 6 months, 8 months. They are for longer time, 8 years, 10 years, sometimes more than 10 years also. Cognizant is a company who is taking the longest position. SCL is taking five-year position. You know, Genpact is taking five-year position. If I'm not mistaken, Wipro is also taking five-year position. TCS do take more than four-year position. They are able to take up the position of four-year, five-year only because they know that they have the contract in place. If today I do not have a contract in place, how can I, how can I take up the position? But these contracts are forecasted in nature. Now, if I go with the definition of uh, Reserve Bank of India, which they are referring to the contracted exposure and exposure to the exchange rate of rupee against a foreign currency on account of current and the capital account transaction permissible under FEVA 1999 or any other rules or regulation made thereafter which, which have already been entered into. I would like to check one thing from them. When we are talking about the exposure, we need to segregate the exposure broadly into two parts. Number one, I it pertains to capital account or it pertains to current account. This is RBI definition, which I clearly disregard. Current account and capital account is not an exposure. It is a flow. There is a difference. If today Infosys is billing $100 to a client, which is Microsoft, because the work of the Microsoft is being performed from Bangalore office of Infosys, then it pertains to the current account of Infosys. While if Reliance Industries Limited, because of their geo operations or any other telecommunication or, or petrochemical operations, they are taking $1 billion of funding from Luxembourg or US in India before their working capital expo, for their working capital requirement, then it's a capital account transaction. But this is a flow. This is not an exposure. 
there are only two kind of flows which we have across the globe one is the capital account flow and one is the current account flow while these flows are further divided into four parts one is contracted one is anticipated one is forecasted and fourth is the special dispensation now in the rbi interbank and risk management circular which was there earlier rbi was have, was having a heading which is special dispensation but this time the special dispensation is not there why how come the special dispensation uh, how come this special category of the special dispensation removed who gave the permission to remove the special dispensation there are times in the economy we have seen in 2008 we have seen in 1999 we have seen once again in 2017 when indian rupee touched to 68 and multiple times rbi came up with a multiple special multiple recommendation which is on the special dispensation special di special dispensation while okay forecasted exposure you not mention because you do not understand that why, why did you why did you remove the special dispensation isn't that in 2017 and 2018 indian rupee went nearby 75 isn't today when we are talking which is closer to i think uh, 24th of uh, 25th of february 2019 when indian rupee is closing uh, is, is trading closer to 71 then why special dispensation is a is removed why forecasted exposure is not there and alternatively we also know that companies like genpack essential cognizant and all they work on the intercompany mode what is intercompany india is acting as a offshore center because of the cost now they work on the intercompany mode because they get the work from their parent company which they do here and get it reimbursed from the parent company on a cost plus notch which is intercompany why intercompany is not mentioned here how long rbi will take to understand that that there is something which is known as the intercompany exposure here why we don't understand that how much time do we need to understand these kind of things this is one thing now don't worry there are a lot of things to come let's move to page number 3 again ifrs 9 us gap 157 us 133 ifrs 13 ifrs 7 is 39 together all might have multiple differences multiple interpretation issues as far as the hedge accounting of derivatives are concerned i am in saying they have multiple interpretation issue like fs133 fs157 or uh, fs133 is asking option to be hedge accounting on a fair value note while ifrs9 is saying option can be hedge accounting on intrinsic value and extrinsic value both ways so this is an interpretation issue i'm not i'm not saying that there is no there is no interpretation issue there is an interpretation issue question is all these accounting standards are uniform on one fact which is the free standing hedges free standing hedges is a concept which is originated or created by a very intelligent person whereby he allowed the take of the hedge position without having an exposure why rbi is not allowing the free standing exposure when the accounting standards are in sync RBI is always saying when whenever they have the excuse that the nobody is doing across the globe why do we do now here all accounting standards are giving you the permission to get this done why you are not adding in your master circular in fact the master circular which is there in the public domain which is in interbank and risk management is that also do not have the uh, free standing hedges i do not know when do we learn about the free standing hedges i'm not sure Let's go back to page number and four. You can again see that I wrote from the pen. RBI forgetted to give to give the paging convention. Here, nowhere they have mentioned about ISDA. What are the documents you need to have in ISDA? ISDA Master Service Agreement 2002, Schedule to One Extra, Risk Disclosure Statement, Credit Support Annex. there is a humongous amount of discussion which is happening across the globe whether single currency collateral and the multi currency collateral and the collateral apportionment how it would happen huge amount of discussions are happening of course there are interpretation issue i have my own interpretation issue as far as the discussion which is happening in the public domain but interpretation issue is something which will originate once the concept will come on the table here in this table the ista everything is not there so how come the interpretation issue will come how can you how can you missed mentioning isda master service agreement 2002 schedule to an extra rds css single currency multi currency and collateral of uh, collateral apportionment who will mention this what do you expect is this is a job if you are 
you are coming up with a master circular is this somebody else job to mention is that is the only reason without quoting the name i know most of the companies in india those who do not know that isda signing of isda is mandatory because they coming up with the excuse that rbi is not mentioning that and this is another example of the fact that you are mistakes happened in the past you are coming up with a fresh circular in this you again not mentioned about isda now let's move to the to the another point now i'll tell you i'll i'll tell you to uh, let's discuss something you know because this point i need to sit so don't worry it's a treasury consulting office so everything is arranged you know let us have this paragraph number 3 authorized dealer shall allow the users to freely cancel and rebook derivative contracts however net gains bracket open gains over and above losses if any bracket closed on the contracts are booked to hedge and anticipated exposure shall be passed on to the eligible user only at the time of the cash flow of the anticipated transaction in case of part delivery the net gain will be transferred on the pro rata basis i wanted to ask reserve bank of india one thing what is the definition of pro rata why we are reluctant to mention the yield curve here don't we have a mybor mumbai interbank offer rate yield curve don't we have a inr bnk swap don't we have a inr IN zero curve don't we have mi ois curve don't we have inr ois curve irs curve i cannot take because irs curve includes the dollar portion so that is why i am not referring to the irs curve but whatever curve i mention here mybor zero curve bmk bmk 90 day 90 day walls curve these all covers are in our curves pure why we have giving the diplomatic meaning that i repeat again in case of the part delivery net gain will be transferred on the pro rata basis what is the pro rata basis why are you going diplomatic you why are you leaving the interpretation issue to the banks that every bank will interpret this in their own parlance so without quoting the name if a big corporate will come then they will get zero present value while a small corporate will come they will discount it by 14% because there is nothing has been mentioned here once you are coming up with a draft circular you should mention appropriately that boss what is the present value curve which we are referring to in fact the current master circular also do not have any present value curve what are we thinking what are we doing exactly what are we up to it now let's move to another very interesting point page number 5 and uh, point number 3 directions to exchanges exchanges authorized by rbi to offer currency derivatives shall provide facility to the users intended to take position beyond 100 million us dollar or equivalent in contracts involving rupee in all exchanges put together to designate an authorized to designate an authorized dealer in our parlance ad for users referred in the previous para the exchanges shall provide information to the day and open position as well as the intraday high position to the uh, of the user to the designated ad my question is one side you wanted to be a 10 trillion dollar economy in 2025 another side you are giving the permission to the exchanges only of 100 million dollars can i have the quantification of this 100 million dollar who decides is 100 is is 100 million dollar is that 100 million dollar is the inr equivalent of what our retail people is allowed to trade in the exchanges where did this 100 million came because if i take indian rupee as 71 then this 100 million tend to amount to 710 crores and as far as my understanding is concerned in a exchange on a individual note the limit which uh, you have in the exchange is much greater than what, what what you have here so where did this 710 crore or the so called 100 million came let's talk another point page number 6 page number 6 is a very important especially para number 2 eligible products forwards purchase of call option put option bracket open european option bracket close purchase of call and put spread swaps my question to rbi is when we learn american options when we learn bermudian option or the reuters and the bloomberg who are giving the pricing of american and the bermudian option are they wrong or the country where i am the, the company basically the principal company of singapore the singapore which is allowing both american and uh, and uh, bermudian is they are wrong 
or the US Luxembourg Frankfurt those who are allowing the trading of Bermudian and European and the American option they are not the only one correct is the Reserve Bank of India why are we not allowing the allowing the American and the Bermudian option in India today we are in 2019 are we going to wait till 2099 when Rahul Magan will not be there with you then we when then we will have American and the Bermudian option or we're going to waiting for maybe 3000 maybe 4000 and very interesting thing to come see the way RBI mentioned purchase of call and put option is just like they are doing something very brilliant job purchase of call and put option the see I'm allowing the purchase of call and put option where did they mention the participation in options we have a concept which is known as the participating forward it looks like participating forward but actually there is a participation ratio in that it is nothing but the two legs with the same strike rate so there are two kind of participation one is with call one put with put and one is with call with put and one is uh, with participation and without participation so the total eight combinations the question is why are we not allowing participation in India is it that participating forward will only be in the books or is it that to take the is it that to take the participating forward we need to wait for another hundred years or is it that options across the globe including the country where I am and the, the, and the principal country of my company Singapore they also believe in European options and very interesting fact they mentioned swaps what kind of swap you are talking principal only swap coupon only swap cross currency swap or exotic swaps where are strips where are striplets cap sorry strap straplets ratio backward and all other kind of option one touch no touch zero touch european touch american touch knock in knock out barrier options digital options where are they are they not being used are they not available on uh, bloomberg to get it price why are we not allowing another important feature which is this all contracts with the retail clients shall be executed at the interbank and the market rates and shall be time stamped tell me one thing who will audit this time stamping how many clients we have in india those who have reuters and how many those who have reuters know how to see reuters and how many those who have reuters know how to see reuters they are being listened by reserve bank of india if they are putting the grievances we are talking in a we are sitting in a country where monetary authority of singapore have already started the auditing of the banks whereby they started checking that the rate which you are quoting to the client should not be exorbitant client should not be cheated monetary authority of singapore being a very active re active regulator they have started the auditing of that we know that apparently speaking there are three kind of price discovery which we have in the fx market which is d2 d3 and d4 is it somewhere you have mentioned that the diplomatic tones which is time stamped where is d2 where is d3 where is d4 okay forget d2 why not d3 d d4 how many people those who are watching this video know that what exactly is d what is d2 what is d3 what is d4 how many know that we have 189 currencies of the globe how many know that the price discovery of this 189 currencies of this globe divided into three parts d2 d3 and d4 just check it out from yourself the master circulars which you are reading is 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 really not here to give you some information it is here to mislead you let's talk another interesting point where is the IR structures here IR stands for interested where is the IR structures here and when we are going to mention the IR structures cross IR structures exotic IR structures forward forward IR structures when we are going to mention that is it that IR don't play any role today the entire globe is talking about one thing which is SOFR which is secured overnight financing rate Chicago Mercantile Exchange have already reached the barrier of 100k if I'm not mistaken in terms of contract and SOFR I am not sure about I take an indemnification since I'm not sure about the notional but their notional of trading in SOFR is also very high Chicago Mercantile Exchange and they proved that a CCP central trading counterparty can be a place to trade SOFR is this complete so-called document 
do you mention SOFR anywhere? People are talking about LIBOR to SOFR. Did you mention, did you talk about SOFR? No. Why do we talk? Because LIBOR will phase out in 2021. Let LIBOR phase out, then we come with a uh, uh, device circular, let, let us have a debate, then we talk about SOFR. Chicago Mercantile Exchange and everyone is talking about SOFR. Let them talk. Why do we worry? Last point. Eligible products, which I have already discussed, why don't we have eligible products like knock in, knock out, time stamping, European one touch, American one touch, barrier option there, allowed by Reserve Bank of India. To cut the long discussion short, this master circular released by Reserve Bank of India as usual is having multiple flaws in place. There are two ways of looking this master circular. One way of looking this master circular is we just look at it, you give the command, RBI is not going to listen to the command, they are going to do what they wanted to do and what they did is right up front. Another way of looking this circular is to compare with the countries like Singapore, Luxembourg, Frankfurt, US, where you will get to know that this master circular from a functional angle stands nowhere. This is what Treasury Consulting wanted to bring you from Singapore, a Singapore based company and also to tell you that we have the competency to see everything different and take my words. Maximum 2026 plus minus one year. You will see that Treasury Consulting Group will not be a Treasury Consulting Group. It would be a Treasury Consulting Bank. We have the functional understanding to see how exactly things are happening. We don't bother who keeps what feedback about us. That's it. Whatever you have here is a non-functional content and they are not going to take you anywhere. With this, Treasury Consulting, thank you very much. You have my mobile number. 9198992429789 and don't forget to visit our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global thank you have a wonderful time